here is your AutoCAD test. Okay, I need to finish this quick. Okay, this door is seven feet. Like three feet. Okay, nice. Let me draw. It says all door panels are equal height and width. Right. So I don't know what's the size. So I know this is two inches. Let me see. Okay, this is the middle point. One, feet, one inch. I'm gonna mirror this. And I'm gonna move this two inches. Okay, I'm almost there. For these other panels, I'm gonna draw a line here and I'm gonna divide it. Number of segments, uh, that's three. Okay, what happened here? What are my points? Oh, it's right here. Okay, I only have, oh my god, my time is running, so I'm gonna put that there, I'm gonna stretch it here, and I'm gonna stretch it two inches, so I'm gonna mirror this, Something doesn't look right here. Let me see. Let me copy this over here first. Okay, I'm gonna remove that. And this. Let me dimension this first. Three feet. This is two inches. Okay, one foot three, one foot three, that's great. Okay, now the other side. Should be equal to plus four inches. No? That's two feet. That's two inches. Okay, so all of our equals, so I'm gonna do two inches here, that's two feet two, two inches here, that's two feet two, my time is running, two, so that's two, I'm gonna take one inch over here, one, two feet, one, two feet, one, two feet, two. I'm gonna take these three quarters. God damn it. This is two feet, one, three quarters. Quarter to one quarter. Go 
confuse here. Ah, uh, my time. Hey, I'm Irvind. Sadly, this person failed the AutoCAD test. Even though he claimed to be an advanced user, the short time was a challenge for him. Here is where you can pause and try the AutoCAD test by yourself or continue watching to show you how I did pass the test. So I first started drawing a rectangle and I used the D option to assign a dimension to this rectangle. The door is 7 feet by 3 feet according to the test. I'll click here like so. Once I had my rectangle, what I did was create some guidelines using the X line command and I started first by placing one guideline in the center and another here at the bottom. Once I had that I copied two inches up and then I proceeded to copy two of these X lines using the regular copy command. I copied it from this point and specified that this would be an array option by using the shortcut A and then I picked 4 for the number of segments. I then proceeded to type F to make this fit and then I clicked here at the top of the door. Once I had this, all of my guidelines, what I did was I create a, another rectangle that will represent a panel from this point to over here and I proceeded to stretch it 2 inches in this side and 1 on this other side. I then copied it up like so a couple of times to complete half of the panels of this door. Once I had that I removed all of the guidelines since I didn't need it anymore. I then proceeded to use the mirror command to mirror three of these panels to the other side and complete the six panel door. Once I had that I did the same procedure to create the other 3 feet door. Finally, I quickly dimensioned all of these objects by using the QDIM command. I created dimensions horizontally and vertically. Finally, I added a couple more of dimensions using the same QDIM command to complete this final drawing. And of course, following the instructions of the test, I did save my drawing using the QSafe command. Congratulations, you passed the AutoCAD test. Welcome aboard. Here is another test for you thanks to my Patreon supporters. And if you found this useful, share it with your friends so we all passed the next AutoCAD test.